Did y'all know that over 2,500 people have filed lawsuits against a lot of different people alleging as a part of this Survivors Act, alleging as a part of this Survivors Act that they were dealt with, touched improperly, so on and so forth. Exhibit A. The first person that we're going to uh, evaluate, because it's not just one, these are just some of the most popular people that you uh, are aware of. Cuba Gooden Jr. I'm not going to say Cuba. I'm going to say Cuba. Cuba, because let me tell you something. Cuba Gooden Jr. has some of the most iconic roles. Look at these great men. They have the most iconic roles in some of the movies that we love. Remember when Cuba Gooden Jr. had to get inside of that uh, Navy diver suit? Navy master diver, and he had one leg cut off, and he had to walk all the way across the, the floor in order to prove to the white man that was racist against him in that movie that he was more than capable of being a master Navy diver. And he overcame all obstacles. Remember when he tried to save Ricky over there in Boys in the Hood? Remember when Cuba tried to save Ricky over there in Boys in the Hood, and he said, Ricky! And even though Lawrence Fisburne was sitting there with his meditation yin and yangs and he was rolling it and he thought that they was going to go out there and do something and he was fighting because he couldn't get no sex from Nia Long and Boys in the Hood and he was getting mad. And he looked at Ice Cube with his jerry curl and he said, Hey, dog. No, let me out. I said, let me out. And he got out the car and he went home to his father's house. And Lawrence Fishburne just looked at him with the blood on his shirt. And then he went to his room. And the next morning, he was talking to Ice Cube and he said, yo, doe, you still got one brother left. That's what happened. Next level, I'm going to read that super chat shortly. That's what happened. Do you know how iconic some of the roles that this man has played? And it's all coming crashing down. And you know why? Do you know why? Can you tell me why his entire empire it's coming crashing down. Can anybody give me some insight and information as to why this man's entire empire is coming crashing down? Well, listen, I'm not going to wait for you to tell me. I'm going to share it with you. Cuba. Cuba. The one who's Ice Cube's other brother that he got left after they took Ricky from him. Faces not one. Not one, but two lawsuits that was filed against him prior to the Adult Survivors Act expired today. Yes, he did. Let me break it down for you people out here in these streets. It said he headed to court again and again, again and again. It said two women have filed lawsuits alleging the freedom actor groped them in New York City in separate incidents in 2018 and 19. The lawsuits were filed Wednesday in New York Supreme Court under the state's Adult Survivors Act, which gives plaintiffs a temporary window to submit civil claims, civil, not criminal, civil, of sexual offenses. Shout out to you. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. That would otherwise not meet the statute of limitations. So you don't necessarily got to go to jail. You just got to send up that money, honey. The Adult Survivors Act expired today. The legal action is only the most recent for Goody. In June, he reached a settlement, last minute settlement before Puffy did it. He did it with the woman who accused him of graping her a decade ago and avoiding trial. In the 2018 lawsuit obtained by the Times, a woman said that while she was working as a cocktail wait waitress at Lavo Restaurant and nightclub in New York, Gooding forced his tongue 
without her consent into her mouth. He opened up her mouth and he said, ah, there's some good food. Ah. Gooding pleaded guilty to a criminal forcible touching charge related to the incident last April in order to make it go away. The lawsuit filed Wednesday includes a portion of the transcript of Gooding's testimony from that litigation in which the judge asked him to describe what he did. He says, I kissed the waitress on the lips. He said before confirming that he'd done it without her per permission. All right. Uh, in 2019 filing, Kelsey Herbert uh, said that she approached Gooding at the magic hour. The magic hour. Rooftop bar and lounge, hoping to meet the actor. She alleged that she had sat next to Gooding and Gooding's girlfriend. Hey, what's up, baby? You see my girlfriend right here? The actor reached over and felt her thigh and her breast and said, so can you imagine my surprise when I saw a flash of movement and felt his hand on my breast, groping it and feeling around as if I was a piece of meat? Herbert filed a police report within a week of the incident. Gooding pleaded guilty again and a civil lawsuit includes Gooding confirming that it was non-consensual physical contact uh, at his hearing. Both women are speaking are seeking unspecified damages for assault and battery, lost wages, emotional and physical, uh, mental injury, and attorney's fees. And Gloria Alred, who is representing the two plaintiffs, said in a statement per deadline, our clients were deprived of justice that they sought in the criminal case, and they are now seeking justice and accountability in the civil cases. We are proud and encouraged and intend to vigorously fight for them until they win justice that they deserve. All right, now that's Cuba. That's Cuba. But Cuba ain't the only person, and it ain't just black people. I know y'all in the chat acting like, oh my God, it's only the black men. Black men everywhere are grabbing women everywhere. They continue to have a bad reputation because they don't know how to keep their hands to themselves. No, it's not just Cuba. Axel came through and said, Axel, Axel, Axel. And Axel is being accused of assaulting a former penthouse model and his lawsuit also. Do y'all know who Axel Rose is? Axel Rose has been entertaining the masses with rock and roll music. For a long time. Shout out to Ronnie Robinson. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. Let me bring y'all up to speed of what they accuse. An, they, they accuse an Axel. Axel. The lead singer of rock band Guns and Roses. Accused of sexually assaulting a penthouse magazine model. In a lawsuit filed Wednesday. Just so happened to file it before Thursday. I know them clerks was busy. The model and actress Sheila Kennedy identified as the plaintiff in the complaint alleges that Rose violently sexually assaulted her in 1989. God damn it. I thought that Eric Adams had caught, a, caught the bad end of the stick because he got accused of something that happened in 1993. You know how many women Axl Rose and Guns N' Roses band probably went through? You know how much cocaine they probably sniffed? You know how much weed they probably smoked? You know how much fentanyl is probably in their system? They probably can't even walk as good as they used to walk. But in 1989, 1989, in 1989, this is, listen, man, listen, listen, listen. I'm not one to victim blame at all. 1989, that is 30, 34 years ago. Now, my mental math may not always be correct, but it does it. 33, 34 years ago, 34 years ago. Yo, in 1989, I was seven. I was seven. I was born in 1982, and in 1989, Axel was getting some, was getting his feels on or something was happening. I don't know, but let me tell you what she said. She said, he said, she said, said that he violently assaulted her in 1989 after they met at the New York City nightclub and is suing a singer for battery assault and gender-motivated violence and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The lawsuit was filed on Wednesday with the New York State Supreme Court and was obtained by CNN. 
Check this out. Suing for an unspecified amount. According to the complaint, the incident occurred when Rose was at the peak of his commercial success and alleges uses his fame and status and power as a celebrity and performer in the music industry to gain access to manipulate control and violently assault Kennedy. The complaint describes an incident that took place in a New York City hotel room. So wait a minute. Girl, you want to come to my hotel? Why? Now, I just have a question. It says that she alleged that Kennedy, that, that Rose, Axel Rose, who is now 61 years old, knocked on her door and then dragged her by her hair. Uh, uh, uh. Restrained her hands and proceeded to assault her while she was while he was in a sexual volatile rage. Yeah. That she did not consent and felt overpowered. She understood that the safest thing to do was to lie in the bed and wait for Rose to finish. Said that as a result, Kennedy has suffered severe emotional, physical, financial, and psychological distress. We expect that Sheila Kennedy's decision to file this suit will be an important turning point for the music industry. We're doing this for the music. We're not doing it for money. We're doing it for the music industry. We want justice from 1989 from the music industry. Said Dr. Ann, chair of the executive committee at McAllister Oliverius, uh, said in a statement, her account is unfortunately all too typical of a culture of violence from these toxic masculinity men. And sexual misconduct has been allowed to exist in plain sight for decades. It's just the individual musician stepping out of line. But an industrial system of enabling them and then covering up their misconduct and crimes, silencing survivors, and normalizing this nonsense. It said, we hope that Sheila's bravery, bravery stepping out 34 years later, helps other victims find their voice. Aww. Alan Gutman, the attorney for Axel Rose, shared a statement later on Wednesday saying, simply put, the incident ain't even, I don't even know this chick. It ain't never happened. This ain't never happened. Prove it. Prove it. Simply put, this ain't never, I ain't about to sit here and say this, this ain't never happened. It says, notably, these fictional claims were filed the day before the New York State filing deadline expires, though he doesn't deny the possibility of a fan taking photos and passing. Mr. Rose has no recollection of ever meeting and speaking to the plaintiff and has never heard about these fictional allegations prior to today. Mr. Rose is confident this case will be resolved in his favor. Kennedy is an actress and a model who has appeared on the cover of adult magazine. Pit <laughs> <laughs> I was about to Google Kennedy, but I don't want to pull up Kennedy and then it shows some things that's a little bit unsavory and it's messing up my algorithm. I was just about to pull up Kennedy, but I didn't know that Kennedy was a penthouse model. It says in 83, man, she probably looked like a bag of bricks now. In 83, she was fe featured at penthouses, pet of the year. Hold on. Let me see if I can get something popping out here. I got to know who Kennedy is. I'm going to pull it up with another browser and see if we can pull this up. Kennedy. What's her name? What's her name? I got to know. I just want to know who it is that's making these accusations. Sheila... Kennedy, Kennedy, shout out to Sheila Kennedy stepping up. Images. All right. Oh, wait. Sheila said, I was that girl. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Is that Sheila? That can't be the new Sheila. No, I don't think that that's the new Sheila. New Sheila Kennedy. Sheila was on Letterman too? All right, I got to share with y'all the photos. Give me a second. Give me a second. So this is Sheila on Letterman. That's Sheila back in 1983, 89. 83, 89. Shout out to Sheila. Sheila in the building. Sheila was in the building doing her thing. Shout out to Sheila. So Sheila was out here getting it. All right, I need to find Sheila. Is this Sheila Kennedy today? Um. Oh, she was on Big Brother. Sheila today. 
Sheila was on Big Brother. I did not know that Sheila was on Big Brother. So Sheila didn't had a few tans. Apparently she was on Big Brother. And she was an actress. Okay, Sheila. Sheila also got some uh, pictures over here with Chippendales models. And then she getting some lingerie. She in some penthouse stuff. We don't want to pull up too much of Sheila Kennedy because Sheila might be messing up what it is that we got going on over there on YouTube. But that is the woman that allegedly is uh, saying that Axel, Axel uh, did some violent things. But listen, it didn't stop there. Among the 2,500 men, among the 2,500 men who are being accused of sexual misconduct According to the Survivors Act, Jimmy Iovine, somebody that we never thought that we would see out here in these streets, is shocked. Listen, Jimmy said, I'm shocked and I'm baffled by these abuse allegations that's being alleged against me. All right. Uh, hold on, Rolling Stone. Hold on, Rolling Stone. I can't even read. OK. All right. So Jimmy Iovine also is being accused and he's shocked and baffled by the allegations no need to go into it. I don't want to Google it and find a, uh, find any more of the story or anything like that. You guys get the picture, all right? And so what I'm telling guys on a regular basis is that you guys are not safe. 